Bubbleberry is a round toe, slip on casual shoe designed by Cloudberry on Maker World. I printed this pair four weeks ago on my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon in Bamboo TPU 85A, choosing the softer material for extra comfort, even though the designer recommends TPU 90A. You're watching 3D Fish, where I push the boundaries of personal manufacturing by taking 3D prints into the real world to see how they perform. Since finishing the print, I've worn these shoes every single day, running errands, taking morning walks, and tackling light hikes. So I've logged enough miles for a one month update. If you want the deep dive review, check the link in the description or tap the card in the top right corner. Comfort wise, Bubbleberry feels as good as traditional footwear that costs well over $100. The Crossag infill and softer TPU give each step a springy cushion though I do notice more ground impact during vigorous running or jumping. For everyday walking though, the ride is excellent and the rounded toe box lets my feet splay naturally. Durability has been impressive. After a month of daily wear, the flex zones show no seam splits, heel compression is minimal, and the soles have only light scuffing. Far better than my previous whaleberries, which cracked in their second week. The single piece printed structure clearly holds up as well as if not better than, many conventionally made shoes. I accidentally stepped into the ocean during a morning walk on the beach. I rinsed the shoes, left them to dry overnight, and by morning they were ready to go again, a bit faster than traditionally manufactured shoes. So, should you print Bubbleberry? On the plus side, they're remarkably comfortable. The bubble texture turns heads and sparks. Wait, you 3D printed those? Conversations, and the durability so far, inspires confidence. The downsides are minor. Even with all that breathable infill design, this shoes can feel warm in warmer environment. They are already a bit warm now during 75 to 80 degrees weather. It likely will be super warm in a hot environment like the scorching Texas summer. And if you use the softer 85A like I did, the sole may be a little less forgiving for high impact sports. Verdict. Bubbleberry isn't perfect, but it's still one of the best printable shoe designs out there. If you enjoy testing the limits of your desktop 3D printer, I highly recommend giving this model a try. So that's the one month check-in on Bubbleberry. If you found it useful, hit like and share it with a maker friend who's itching to print their own shoes. Subscribe to 3D Fish so you don't miss the six month durability update and my upcoming videos about more 3D printable shoes design. Thanks for watching and happy printing. I'll see you in the next video.